A force of 11 pounds compresses a 13 inch spring a total of 3 inches. We want to know how much work is done in compressing the spring an additional 2 inches. Let's go ahead and work this out. So solution. First let's draw a picture of the spring. So here's our spring and it looks something like this maybe. There's our little spring and it's 13 inches long. So it's a 13 inch spring. So here I'll put 0 and here I'll put 13. So in this case, the force acting on the spring is equal to zero. This is the natural length, natural length of the spring. So the spring is in equilibrium. And we're told that a force of 11 pounds compresses the spring a total of three inches. So here's what the picture would look like for that. So here is zero and here is 13 and it's been compressed uh, three inches. So maybe it looks something like that. And in this case, the force acting on the spring was 11 pounds. We want to know how much work is done in compressing the spring an additional two inches. So first we have to use what's called Hooke's Law. And we're gonna use this to find the force function. So Hooke's Law says that the force required to compress or stretch a string is directly proportional to the amount that it is stretched or compressed. So f of x is equal to kx. So here we have a non-constant force, right? That's why we have a function of x. All right, we're told that a force of 11 pounds compresses it a total of three inches. So f is gonna be 11 and k will, and x will be three. We divide by three to solve for k. And so we end up with k is equal to 11 over 3. Now we just take the k and we plug it back into our force function. So f of x is equal to 11 thirds x. Now we're being asked how much work is done in compressing the spring for an additional 2 inches. So let's redraw our picture. So here's 13. Here's zero. And if we're at three and we're going an additional two inches, we're gonna end up at five. So we want to know what is the work required in order to compress the spring an additional two inches, right? So just to move it two more inches. So the work is the definite integral and we're gonna go from three to five. So from three to five, and we have 11 thirds x dx. Integrating using the power rule, right? There's a one here. This is 11 thirds times x squared over two. And we're going from three to five. So this is 11 over six times x squared, right? Two times three is six. And we're going from three to five. So let me come up here. So this is 11 over six. I'm gonna leave the 11 over six outside. First you plug in the five, so you get five squared. Then you plug in the three, so minus three squared. So this is equal to 11 over six. This is 25 minus nine. And this is 11 over six. 25 minus nine is 16. So times 16. And if you put this in your calculator, you get approximately 29.3, and the units are inch pounds. And that's it. I hope that made sense.